I work on ancient and modern farming systems uh, in Africa, especially the Eastern African coast. I ask questions about how and why subsistence farmers engage in the activities they do, uh, what they plant, uh, why they do so, how they've engaged with different colonial governmental regimes over time. And I use uh, modern oral traditions uh, to provide a model. And then I use that information to look back at the past through documentary and archaeological information. Um, so it's very common for us to have this sort of linear idea of technologies, right? That people progress along certain technological paths and that if you're an African subsistence farmer, that you lack something about industrial big scale farming methods, right? And people are uncomfortable with that difference and so they'll try to make it up. They may not appreciate that a subsistence farming system really works for people. They're also super surprised when I arrange my interviews with a cell phone. I'm like, I better call him on his cell. My students frequently are very um, uh, disoriented by the fact that a subsistence farmer, someone who is quite impoverished in that they may not earn a lot of money, but rather they can um, make a lot of their own ends meet uh, with their own um, uh, farms and their own gardens. Uh, but also it, it lets them know that uh, technologies in Tanzania are, are different because they serve what Tanzanians need. So for example, landlines aren't all that common because the infrastructure is quite expensive uh, and colonial systems only put in place infrastructure that served export uh, colonial markets. Um, but rather, wireless technologies are taking over. And it's very cheap to buy a cell phone there. It's very cheap to get a SIM card. And you can do pay-as-you-go plans. So it's very um, minimal cost up front. So people are, uh, those are, those are appealing technologies for people. Um, and it's, it makes my students reflect, oh, well, what, what are we doing here? Why is my phone plan so expensive, right? They, they're telling themselves a story about their own technology when they're imposing ideas about other people. And so me bringing up that my, the farmers that I interview use cell phones uh, disrupts that idea of difference for them in, a, in an interesting way. I can see in their eyes that they are rethinking something that they thought they knew.